Hello friend, myself Professor Sushant Kumar Das. I am Professor in School of Physics, GM University, Sambalpur, Odisha, India. Uh, my subject is Physics. I, I used to do research in different uh, field like uh, uh, solid state lasers, nonlinear optics, uh, energy harvesting material, particularly for solar cell, also energy storage material, particularly for battery, supercapacitor, nanophotonics, and in agrophysics. In agrophysics, basically, uh, we are, uh, I am developing some uh, research equipment and also going for finding some new methodology for enhancing the uh, uh, production of the mushrooms, uh, particularly utilizing the uh, various uh, physical process uh, uh, we can go for that but for that before that uh, one must have to know about the conventional method of uh, mushroom farming uh, so in this video i will be discussing about the conventional method of mushroom farming particularly for organic mushroom farming uh, in this uh, video i will be telling about the pages to a mushroom so so uh, more detail about this video you'll be uh, going to know from the next section of this video particularly uh, in this video you will be knowing about uh, what are the uh, different uh, methodology methodology that you have to follow uh, the raw material that you have to use in the quantitative details you, you will be uh, uh, knowing i have i have prepared a uh, ppt they are everything in return will be shown to you then some of the results from my laboratory will be discussed so, uh, so a reference also will be discussed uh, that is a technical bulletin from uh, from a research center mushroom research center uh, you will be given the information on the uh, expenditure and um, particularly per bed expenditure uh, to per bed earning uh, they are both beginner and uh, expert cases will be discussed uh, finally, discussion will be given on lacunae of this work. That means, what are the present difficulty uh, or knowledge gap in this work that will be discussed. And also, discussion will be given on future scope of work, particular future scope of research work in this field. Uh, this will be discussed. Okay. So, let us then go to the uh, main video. Thank you. Hello friend, good morning, today I am going to discuss about paddies uh, mushroom which is also called a straw mushroom, cultivation using st uh, straw sterilized with lime and bleaching. So first in this slide I will give the general instruction. To this, uh, first we have to start with sterilization and composting the straw. For sterilization, you have to take 10 liters of water per 1 kg of dry straw. Then you have to take 2 gram of lime and 0.5 gram of bleaching, which is optional, per liter of water and mix them well. Then you have to dip the straw and keep it for 12 to 18 hours. After that, you have to drain the water for 3 to 5 hours. Particularly, you have to drain in a pile, pile more uh, so that the water will drain, drain properly and will not dry. Uh, the, the, after proper drainage, uh, you, when you press uh, uh, the straw, you will find that no water is coming out, but your hand palms are getting wet. In that condition, the 
uh, drainage is well okay and quantitatively we have found that after proper drainage one kg of dry mushroom after wetting and after proper drainage become 2.5 kg then you have to keep it covered for 24 to 72 hours for composting it which is optional in my case i sometimes i used to go for this and i used to get a good result also now uh, uh, in my recent experiment i found that very good result is coming with this method in compared to which you are not uh, not gone for this yes so i have mentioned it optional but uh, in some other uh, reports uh, people are getting uh, good result even out going for this so i have made it optional for my case i found it good now uh, the next step is bed preparation its care and production after proper drainage of the compost you have to go for these steps for this you have to take first two to three percent of sprout that is the mushroom uh, seed then you have to go for adding um, for, uh, 0.5% of chickpea flour which is gram flour or besom 0.5% of chocodo and 3% of compost which is optional uh, Recent, in my recent experiment, I found that the addition of compost is very beneficial for mushroom bed, for mushroom for pedistro mushroom. But uh, reports are there uh, without going for this addition of compost also one can get good result. So I have made it optional. For my, remember, for my case, I got good result with this compost. Now, let me also tell you here, sometimes uh, some people use uh, only basin or chickpea flour, then they have to go to uh, up to 1% of chickpea, chickpea flour, 0.5 uh, to 1% of chickpea flour they have to take if they do not have chickpea uh, uh, do not have basil then uh, you have to lay the bed uh, I generally prefer going for three layers so I have mentioned it here but people need to go for uh, four layer also depending on the season you have to decide this if it's rainy season or winter season maybe you can go up to four layers, but for summer or in general, you can go up to three layers. Then, then uh, after laying the bed, you have to spray humic acid solution, which is optional. Uh, in the, some recent reports, it has been found that spraying humic acid uh, uh, increased the yield very significantly so it is advisable to spray this solution for this uh, for this uh, you must have to buy the humic acid in solid form or in liquid form if you are buying the uh, humic acid in solid form then you have to use one gram of of humic acid solid per liter of water to mix the, uh, to prepare this solution uh, otherwise, if you are purchasing uh, liquid humic acid, then you have to add 5 ml of humic acid uh, per liter of water and you have to spray on this prepared bed from, the, uh, from all sides. Then uh, you have to cover it tightly with white or transparent polythene 
then you have to lay it as such for next four days at least on fifth day you have to open the bed for 15 to 30 minutes and you have to cover it well again tightly now from oh, oh, you can open the bed on eighth day for a half an hour to two hour particularly depending on summer uh, so season you can change your timing for example in summer you uh, you can go for point five hour that means half an hour in winter you you can go for one hour and then for rainy season you can go for two hour uh, because in rainy season uh, there is uh, plenty of humidity in the atmosphere and uh, let me tell you uh, uh, opening this uh, this step of opening the uh, opening the um, cover is for drying the mycelium on eight that uh, generally the mycelium will be fully covered on the bed so you have to dry it for drying it you have to open it daily uh, so this is the these are the timing for opening then after uh, opening uh, you have to check if some region is getting dried or not if some uh, region has got dried then you can spray water that's why i have mentioned spray water in dried region if required then you have to cover it uh, loosely remember earlier you are covering it tightly now uh, from 8 day onward you have to cover it loosely also let me tell you sometimes depending on your seed uh, uh, that you are using uh, you will find that on 8 day the bed is not fully uh, covered with uh, mycelium particularly if you are using the matured seed uh, then uh, you will see the mycelium has covered on it uh, but uh, if you are uh, using little bit unmatured seed then it may take up to 10 days or 11 days even so anyway i used to uh, go for the matured seed more about this matured seed you can learn from my next video or other video so if you are covering uh, sorry using the matured seed then on it they definitely will get the mycelium and th th thereafter you have to open uh, for the timing that i mentioned half an hour or one hour or two hour then you have to cover it again but this time you have to cover it loosely because now onward the uh, the pinhead will come and uh, they will grow and uh, they will uh, uh, give us the production now if you uh, uh, tightly uh, put the polythene tightly this process will get seriously hampered so you have to cover it loosely remember you cannot uh, uh, keep the bed uncovered because in that case you the water content in from the bed will uh, go off or uh, your bed will dry up and uh, along with that the mycelium will get dried up and uh, you will not get production on the other hand if you do not offend from eight day or uh, from the day of, uh, from which you, you got uh, fully covered uh, um, mycelium if you are do, if you are not opening it daily then you will find that uh, the mycelium is getting rotten mm. so, so so in that case it also not good so remember uh, you have to take care properly this uh, 
uncovering of polythene after eight days. So very precisely. You cannot open it for long time or you cannot open it very short time also. Okay. You have to see that just the mycelium is getting dried but the bed is not getting seriously dried up. If bed is getting dried up then please spray the water in the dried region. Okay. You can also dry. Uh, uh, you can also uh, spray the uh, water on the pin head very lightly. Okay. Uh, you have to repeat the above process until we got the whole production within 13 to 20 days. Okay. Mostly, uh, if uh, your temperature and with uh, humidity condition is in favor, then within 13 days you will get your whole production. Your whole production will come in fast, uh, fast cropping time uh, or putting time, which will be there mostly from uh, uh, 11, 12, or 13 days. Then, if you keep it uh, covered for uh, seven more days, then you will get the second uh, footing. Uh, but uh, for that, after getting the first uh, batch of footing, you have to uh, wait the bed. Uh, so, uh, so far I have not gone for the second uh, second footing because uh, for that unless in the second phase, the footing in general is less. So one can discard this process. And so far I am discarding this process, but one can go for this. Uh, this is all about the uh, uh, detailed procedure and uh, particularly the, this, uh, uh, this is the general methodology that I told you. Now for a particular case, uh, you can refer this uh, slide. This is uh, the same thing, but for one bottle of seed. This one bottle of seeds contains, uh, uh, oh, this one bottle contains 200 gram of seeds. Okay, or seeds or your sprout. Okay, if that is the case, then you can go for uh, the following steps. But if that is not the case, you can refer the, uh, refer my previous slide where I have mentioned uh, in terms of uh, per kg of um, dry straw, okay, and also I have uh, mentioned the uh, sprout or speed uh, or seed uh, uh, um, uh, weight to be taken per kg of dry straw. But if not, not the case, if it is that particular case like this, which is very general for most all uh, uh, seed or spawn provided, they used to give us the bottle that contains around 200 gram of seed. Sometimes they uh, get, give us a little bit less, but for that also you can use this procedure. For this, you have to take uh, for uh, 70 liters of water, 140 gram of lime, 35 gram of bleaching, and you have to mix them well. Then you have to dip 7 kg of straw and keep it uh, for 12 to 18 hours. Uh, then uh, you have to drain water for three to five hours as I told you in my previous slide, it, this step is same. And also, uh, as I told you that uh, the weight of the properly wet and drained straw will be 2.5 times. So if you take seven kg of dry straw, then weight of properly drained straw become uh, around 17.5 kg. 
if uh, your weight is so then only you will find uh, your uh, stroadic profile condition then uh, then you can go for the final step of this uh, this first step of sterilization and composting the straw the last step is composting straw for this you have to keep it covered for 24 to 72 hours for composting it which i told you optional in my case i generally get good result let me tell you again so uh, i <coughs> i generally go for this but one can skip this because without this also people are getting good result then and then you have to go for bed preparation and its care and uh, production for this uh, 200 gram of spawn uh, uh, obviously you have to take that spawn bottle containing 200 gram of seed or spawn then you have to take uh, 35 uh, gram of chickpea flour which is gram flour or besom then 35 gram of chokorong uh, some some uh, farmer used to go for only use of gram flour so but in that case they used to go for uh, go for uh, 70 gram of chickpea flour which is uh, 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 one percent of dry straw okay one can go for that one can avoid the job order uh, particularly in uh, summer season <coughs> uh, you, uh, you can go for a um, more chocodo but in winter season you have to go for um, more floor in in, uh, th in this composition i have made for the uh, 50 50 percent of chickpea flour uh, basin and 50 percent of chocodo so this is valid for the any season oh yeah the temperature is well okay but in the winter season uh, when the temperature is very low then you have to go for uh, more gram flour there you can go for 100 percent of this additional substitute so that means 100 percent uh, of chickpea flour that means uh, 70 gram of chickpea flour and zero percent of chocolate in that case uh, anyway uh, but one can in all general season if one can use this one then uh, obviously one can go for adding 200 gram of compost which is optional uh, then uh, uh, you have to go for laying the bed and uh, rest other things are uh, almost same like what i told you earlier then then uh, i can show you the some of the results that uh, are from my home laboratory uh, you see in the first figure uh, figure a uh, this shows the dipping of the uh, straw i am using the machine cut straw actually <clears throat> so i have taken one drum which whose capacity is 90 liter uh, we have taken 70 liter water there then we have added the bleaching and uh, bleaching um, powder and the uh, lime and uh, this lime uh, powder we have purchased from hardware store uh, this is of sunrise brand whose cost is 90 rupees per kg 
then we mixed all the things uh, well with the water in 70 liter of water then we dipped 7 kg of straw uh, in this container and cover it and place some bricks so that uh, the straw can uh, get immersed into the water uh, solution well okay then you have to go for the draining after proper drainage you you can lay the bed or uh, in this type in the stop uh, food tray food tray you have to go for um, making the first layer in this manner for this so you have to first lay the straw for around two inch then you have to put this layer in the first layer you can go for uh, mostly you have to give the mushroom seeds on the sides uh, and uh, in the first layer you have to, you can go for adding some something in the middle also uh, on the sides uh, I have given uh, you can see uh, 10 uh, 10 um, in 10 places I have given the uh, this uh, mushroom seeds which we have already mixed with besan and uh, chapado then uh, then uh, we have pre uh, made this layer then you have to go for adding around 3 more uh, inch of uh, three, 3 inch means 7.5 centimeter or 8 centimeter of uh, uh, straw you can cover then you have to go for making the uh, next layer in the next layer you can avoid this middle uh, to uh, to region you do not have to go for that uh, then you have to go complete the third layer also uh, you have to then uh, then you have to fill in the last layer you have to fill the straw again more detail about this step uh, I will tell you in separate video then you have to turn it upside down and uh, then you will uh, find that it is becoming like a cake shape which is being shown in figure C uh, this is called also cake bed and this is mostly valid for uh, mushroom cut straw then we have covered it with the white or transparent polythene tightly then on ninth day you can see uh, the figure E on ninth day we got a uh, very good mycelium growth and uh, some pinhead also has come like white white dots in figure e are the pinheads okay so you will get also some pinhead on ninth day uh, if the weather and temperature and uh, humidity are in favorable you will get similar result uh, then unless you you have to wait for one two days more anyway for my case in the rainy season i'm doing so i'm getting uh, a good mycelium growth within ninth day and also on ninth day i found some growth of some pinhead also as you can see in figure e then uh, on figure f i have shown the mushroom bed condition or pinhead condition on 11th day on 11th day uh, because I was opening uh, every day for around two hours in the, this rainy season uh, so so the mycelium has gone dried up little bit in some of the regions and uh, in some other regions are still there but the, you see the pinheads now has uh, grown up this black uh, black uh, uh, 
black person so you are the uh, the pin heads actually okay uh, they have gone also uh, significantly blown in some locality uh, people uh, used to plow such uh, uh, mushroom in uh, they used to harvest in such conditions uh, in some other region they used to go for two more days so that it, uh, this pin had turned into fully grown uh, mushrooms which are like uh, uh, like shown uh, which are shown in in figure g uh, you see uh, one this is the bed condition on 13th that morning when we when we saw uh, uh, the bed we found that uh, one can find this is not only we one can find that uh, the all the pinheads will be become fully grown mushroom and will look like this uh, for beneath your transparent uh, uh, transparent polythene which was loosely covered since eighth day uh, uh, there you can see uh, beneath that you can see the mushrooms as shown in this figure G. Then when you cover the uncover it, then it will look like figure H. Then obviously when you harvest it, it will look like figure I. This is all about the detail uh, of the progress of the uh, or the, the detail about the work procedure and uh, the harvesting along with the bed care. More detail about the will be told in number of several videos. You can refer my channel for this. For this, uh, if you can subscribe it, uh, then you will get all the things well in advance as soon as i just upload you can get the video through the artificial intelligence uh, uh, routing or uh, suggestion of youtube now now uh, let me show you this uh, this uh, reference from National Research Center for Mushroom. Uh, this is a research center of Mushroom Research Center from uh, so this place, uh, Chambaghat, uh, Solan, uh, Himachal Pradesh. Uh, this uh, flowchart is showing all the detailed things that I told you. Uh, but for their case, they have taken the bundle, bundle seed, sorry, bundle straw, hand cut straw, and uh, which which were bundled. They have taken thirty two bundle, and weight of each bundle they uh, they have taken point seven five two one kg. Uh, they piled up or they made this. Uh, uh, they use these bundles and the detail procedure is shown here. Uh, whatever I, I told, almost all these things are given here. So I was calculating that they have uh, used 32 bundles and if their uh, bundles are uh, uh, 75, uh, 0.75 kg, that is 750 uh, gram, then uh, in 32 it will be 24 kg so they are using in per bed uh, 24 to uh, 32 kg and for that they have taken you can see on the extreme left side they have taken uh, uh, 500 gram uh, which is uh, around 1.66 percent uh, so they told that one can go for varying the sperm from 1.5 to 2.5 percent. In my old works, uh, I have taken around 3 percent. Yeah. 
but one can go for a little bit less also uh then uh in the uh, in the bed uh you have to you use this draw but before that uh, you have to wet it and drain off the excess water as i told you this is coming from the top side this process of um, uh, straw preparation is coming from the top side from the right hand side coming the uh, red gram powder the um, mixing uh, uh, that you can see the red gram powder that means um, gram powder that means channa channa powder or uh, chick chickpea powder they have taken 150 gram which is uh, uh, around 5 percent of the dry uh, straw uh, but in my case uh, i used to take along with this i used to take chocolate also in the same amount uh, one one can take the, uh, maybe double of it if you are not getting um, it depends actually uh, depend on the kind of mushroom uh, straw, sorry, kind of straw you are taking sometimes uh, you have to take more gram powder okay maybe up to double also okay now after the all these three get mixed uh, or get to fit you know, are rightly done as i told you previously then you have to press from the top and cover with plastic sheet this is all about the bundle sheet then you have, uh, you have to go for the incubation that means mycelium growth for that the best temperature condition is 32 34 degrees centigrade which generally we have to get almost in all season excluding the very hot summer they are the temperature will be really very hard then uh, after uh, Eight days, as I told you, mycelia will be fully covered. That is called as mycelia, mycelia colonized bed. Then, in that condition, uh, if your temperature is 20 degree uh, to 30, 32 degree and uh, 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 room humidity or the atmospheric humidity around 80 percent. Uh, and you, 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 are, you have sufficient light at least if you are doing inside the room then you have to have some fluorescent light or see, uh, so that the light level will, will be sufficient enough for reading a book uh, in technical uh, language it is called urgent logs and in the room or the place we are you are doing you will you have to take care that fresh air is flowing there if you are maintaining such a condition then or if such a condition is there then and you if you are opening the bed every day from 8 to 12 for the required amount of time as i told you earlier then you will get fructification uh, then you have to go for harvesting then obviously you are going to get a strong muscle okay uh so this bulletin contains a lot of other information if you want to go for this you can refer this uh, this um, um, this uh, bullet technical bulletin uh the link to this uh, technical bulletin i will give in my description of this youtube video then I have gone for the uh, estimation of expenditure or earning for per bed uh, here the uh, per bed I mean to say that you just one bottle of seed and uh, 7 kg dry straw so in that uh, for that uh, I have given a estimation uh, for expenditure you can see the cost of straw will be around 70 rupees uh, if you are staying in the urban area like myself i'm i'm staying at sambalpur uh, which is a city small city uh, in 
in the western odisha of india there the cost of straw per kg is 10 rupees so for 7 kg dry uh, straw uh, it would be obviously 70 rupees then cost of seed that i used to purchase per bottle 17 rupees cost of line will be around 2.5 leaching will be also costing around 2.5 then basin or chickpeas uh, floor uh, will be or gram floor will be around 350 rupees then chocodo will be around 150 rupees and other things uh, I mentioned uh, like uh, let's say you make a seed or here yeah, average cost of your uh, polythene that you are using that will uh, that other miscellaneous cost will be around 3 rupees so if you add all of them then you will get that uh, that the expenditure per bed will be around 100 rupees uh, obviously those who have their straw with them there will be the major uh, part of the expenditure there they can cut the expenditure up to 70 rupees then if you deduct 70 rupees from this total then you will uh, find that it is 30 rupees so those who have straw with them they can prepare the bed even with 30 rupees okay but those who are purchasing the straw then they have to go for uh, spending around 100 rupees this is you one kind of extreme exp uh, expenditure i am telling one may uh, get the straw in little bit low cost so in that case their expenditure may be reduced little bit from this so this is a rough means a average estimation from an urban area where i am staying then as far the earning is concerned uh, let me tell you earning if you are not uh, well uh, professional uh, that means uh, if you are uh, uh, if you are really doing well in your production then only this earning is valid but if you are beginner uh, then uh, th this may not be your earning because you have to uh, suffer some failure in the beginning in that case earning may go up to zero also remember per head okay but this earning I'm telling you uh, for uh, for uh, for a good production condition, we are in different beds. Uh, if you are expert in producing it, then minimum production will be around seven seven hundred gram, which is uh, around ten percent of biological efficiency. The biological efficiency B is defined as follows. Uh, biological definition is given in the below. Biological efficiency is defined as weight of fresh ratio of weight of fresh mushroom produced per bed divided by weight of dry dry straw or substrate used per bed. So you have seen I have used seven kg of dry straw per bed, and if you are getting minimum of seven hundred gram, then biological efficiency will be. Uh, oh, oh, 10%, uh, 10%. Uh, here, uh, uh, this efficiency or efficacy. So, please don't get confused with efficiency. Uh, this is efficacy. Okay. Then, uh, some lacunae that you will find like this. Uh, very often you will find that the things are not reproducible or bed to bed reproducibility also not okay somewhere you will get less production minimum production somewhere maximum production also uh, and at this point of let me tell you that biological effic efficacy is also too low in comparison to the foreign country practice 
they in the foreign country they used to go for uh, composting method or semi composting method where they used to get small production up to 30 percent but here in india mostly you need to get 10 to 15 percent uh, so uh, uh, the uh, one can set some objective of their work like uh, some of the objective can be like this making the process uh, reproducible uh, you have to find some way so that you can make the process reproducible from bed to bed from batches to batches it need to be reproducible uh, once you make that then you, you will say that you are becoming an expert and uh, uh, you are uh, going for the right uh, you are learning it correct then the second objective is uh, to increase the efficacy up to 30 percent for this you can uh, take different steps like physical sterilization uh, generally uh, it has been observed that if you are uh, doing the physical sterilization that means either boiling the straw or doing the stream uh, stream sterilization then it, you can increase the uh, production uh, a little bit in some of the uh, reported um, uh, work I have seen that so uh, one can try for this physical sterilization but one problem is there that uh, uh, for making the uh, physical sterilization one must to have to uh, go for more expenditure in your infrastructure where in my previous case where I use the lime and bleaching, that is also an organic process because lime and bleaching are considered to be organic as they are harmful, uh, uh, not harmful, so they are considered to be organic. Uh, this physical uh, sterilization also fully organized as you can understand. If we are doing the physical sterilization, you may not have to go for using any lime or uh, bleaching. Okay. Uh, so, on the other hand, by doing this physical sterilization also, you can increase your uh, production. This is uh, my, um, my uh, uh, objective in my uh, upcoming experiments. Uh, then, uh, going for fast semi-decomposition process. Uh, you, uh, generally, for decomposition, you have to go for at least seven days waiting period uh, or three, two, two, three people are using for one two day also but uh, in foreign country uh, they have gone up to seven days also uh, but sometimes the problem happen if you go for more time then your bed will be contaminated again as I told in you in my first life, is uh, decomposition is the last step of uh, straw processing. So this is this is a process uh, that comes after uh, dipping the uh, straw in the lime. After that means after sterilization. After sterilization, if you are keeping for seven days, then then it may be there may be chance that. It will be decomp or uh, decontaminated. Uh, it will be contaminated again. So one must have to think some other way so that within two three days, uh, uh, semi decomposition uh, step will be there. Then uh, one can in uh, in that case the production can get enhanced. I have seen. Uh, I have used some uh, methods for that that uh, about those things i'll tell you later then uh, use of humic acid people have already reported by using the humic acid uh, one can uh, use the, uh, get the more production a more detailed study i am going to do in future and i will report then uh, some other things probably one can uh, do uh, use of cardboard my uh, intuition is that by use of the cardboard one can increase the production drastically 
and that had to be yet to be tested and then uh, uh, mixed uh, mixed uh, software uh, this is well tested uh, thing in this bulletin also you can get some result uh, and some other publication also you will get some result uh, 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 some mixed uh, substrate can give good products then other things that can be imagined or tried can be done for example if oh, one thing uh, one can do that uh, by increasing the air flow by increasing the air flow to the bed from 8 day to uh, to uh, 13 day or until getting the full uh, production if you can increase the bed to bed air flow or can in make some necessary arrangement so that light will be there for uh, for each bed uniformly then from each and uh, each and every bed one can get reproducible uh, footing and uh, maximum footing also okay so those type of things that one can imagine can be tried to enhance this efficacy okay there also there is plenty of scope of doing further research in this field okay friends then you have seen the uh, detailed video if you like uh, it please uh, uh, give the like and uh, share it and uh, shortly we are going to have a training program it will be uh, in a very nominal cost uh, maybe within 1000 so uh, detail about this uh, training program will be uh, given soon and uh, uh, if you like you can join in this program. thank you again thanks